Hey guys, what is good everybody? It's your girl Chelsea and today I'm back with another lit vlog. So, as y'all can tell, it's a little chilly. I got the sweater on, okay? It is uh, it's a very, very, very horrible week coming up, you guys. Negative, negative degrees. It's gonna be like negative 15, zero degrees at the highest negative 15 negative 20 degrees like it is so crazy out here you guys i don't understand i don't understand why and of course it happens when i have a bunch of dogs to take care of so they gotta stay in the house because it is freezing outside so lately i've been living in sweaters and sweats like i don't even care if i match okay i don't care what i look like first of all because dogs are jumping all over me so I gotta wear clothes that are just like, whatever. It's gonna get dirty in five seconds. I'm gonna have to change a million times. Anyways, who cares? If I go out in public, at least I don't look like too crazy, but I still look kind of weird. Like, I don't know, this would look better with some jeans, of course, but I'm just trying to be comfy and warm. And knowing I'm about to be getting covered in dog hair and cat fur and all that stuff. So this is going to be my routine for taking care of i was just rudely interrupted by a timer this is going to be my routine for taking care of a million dogs so i've been going to bed a lot earlier like i went to bed at like 11 30 last night i woke up at 8 in the morning 8 in the morning guys that's really good for me because i mean back in the day i wouldn't wake up till like noon and then i would wake up at like 10 usually so like the past two days i woke up at like 9 and 8 so that's pretty good so I'm still gonna finish doing my hair. I'm gonna just throw it up in a pony because obviously I got like too many things to do. I don't want hair all up in my face when I take care of dogs. So I got my curling iron warming up right now so I can curl my bangs. And I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a pony so. So I did have a cancellation this morning, which sucks because it was almost a thousand dollars. So he was gonna tip me like 200 and so I would've made 900 dollars but he is my regular so he pays me cash which sucks kind of because i have a cancellation fee if i go through the app i usually do so i would have made like four or five hundred dollars well not that because he would have tipped me so i would have made like at least probably three four hundred dollars but like i would feel bad because he's my regular so i would feel bad if he got charged because he does have COVID too so it's not like Oh, he just canceled because he didn't want to go. So, you know, I want to keep him as a regular and don't want to make him mad anyways. So, whatever. But I do feel bad, of course, because he's had, he has COVID. But I was really depending on that $900. He was going on vacation for like two weeks almost. So, hopefully once he gets better, he's still going to go somewhere. And I'll still get that money. Hopefully he still will tip me for like the new year and stuff. So yeah. Um, and he's like my favorite regular. That dog is like super good. He sheds a lot, but he's super good. He listens and he doesn't jump or anything. And he's super sweet and just very playful. So yeah. And then I had a few other dog boarding requests that were thousands of dollars that didn't end up coming through. They didn't want to book. They found, like literally the day before they were supposed to come, they're like, oh, we lucked out and our boarding facility is gonna end up taking him. I'm like, great, cool. And anyways, so then I do have another regular. She wants me to do drop-ins for her dogs. So at least that's like a good amount of money because I'm charging her holiday rate and per dog, which I normally hook her up really good and don't even charge per dog. And obviously it's not holiday rate normally, but I'm like, yo, I'm losing out on all this money. Plus like I got a bunch of dogs to take care of. So I was gonna have eight dogs here, but now um, I was gonna have eight dogs, including my dog here, but now it's only gonna be seven. And then I have two dogs to take care of doing like drop-ins and then two dogs at another drop-in if she ends up um, sending me the money. Cause she's gonna get pretty much half off if she does Venmo. Otherwise she'd pay like a lot more, way more, double that on the app that I do because they charge fees and 
she'd getting she'd be getting charged the full rate but i'm like instead of 30 minute drop-ins so instead of 30 minute drop-ins she usually likes me to do 15 minutes because it's cheaper i charge half the rate and her dogs are pretty easy so she's like oh you don't have to do the 30 just do 15. so it saves her money it saves me time especially with all the chaos going on like that's better for me so but she's super close to me like five minutes literally the other drop in is like 30 minutes or 20 well with the snow probably 30. so it's gonna be a crazy week you guys stay tuned christmas is going to be the craziest that's when i'm gonna have the most dogs so i have one dog coming here at noon or 12 30. i have my cat drop in which is my second cat drop in ever the first one was already somebody that i watched their dog and they said their cat drop in person canceled so um yeah i've been doing this for almost two years and i never get cat drop ins so this cat is actually really cute he's pretty he's gray and he's got really pretty green eyes you guys will see him so I gotta go from like, I'm gonna try to go early, like 11.50 to like 12.20 so I can get back here by 12.30 because the other dog's getting dropped off. And then I have two other dogs coming, I don't remember, tomorrow or the next day or something like that. So let's see, right now I have three dogs and then my dog makes four. So then today I'll have five and then yeah, two more. So I'll have seven. And then one dog that I'm watching, you guys, he's got a cone because he just got neutered recently. And he's already broke two cones in two days. And I had to put like this. So I had to put on this donut cone. Um, and I think it'll work. I don't think this one's going to break because it's like almost like a neck pillow when you travel. And the other ones are plastic. The second one they got was like really durable and thick. And he still managed to break it by running into stuff. So I don't think this one's going to break. He can't get to it. It's not going to be easily breakable, so I hope this will last a week and a half because that's how long he's here. He was like a non-stop barker, but we finally fixed that situation. So now we just got to deal with him breaking cones. So I'm ready for the day. Um, I haven't been getting ready like at all for like a week. Clearly, I don't have a reason, but today I am going to be doing my Christmas with my family over FaceTime because they all live four hours away. So at like two o'clock, we're gonna do like FaceTime. We're gonna do our secret Santa um, gifts. So like I got one gift from whoever my secret Santa was. And then I bought three gifts for two kids and one adult. And I didn't put names on it because I don't want no one peeking or knowing who I got things for. It's secret Santa for a reason. So during the FaceTime, I'm gonna tell them who I got the gifts for. And hopefully no kids got into them and yeah i'm pretty sure i got a perfume because that's all i really wanted and it's about the size of a perfume box it's like yay big i decided to get ready plus if i see my man which i'm pretty sure i'll see him today geez all these timers just messing up my video plus i do really want to go to like kohl's to get a new sweater or just like long sleeve shirt because it's gonna be freezing lately and I just threw one away, and every time I throw out like a shirt, I just want to get a new one to replace it. Or vice versa, if I buy new clothes, I want to throw some away to like even out my closet. I don't want to have too many clothes, like less is more these days. So I at least want to look decent to go do that. I'm probably gonna get some Starbucks because today's just stressing me out already with the snow. I got hiccups and having to do a cat drop in and hurry back and get to the other dog. But at least it's still pretty early. I think it's like 11. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's already 11, 12. It's already 11. Freaking 12. Oh my god, I don't have much time. Like, at least there's a Starbucks pretty close to me. That's good. Like, I really don't want to make my, I don't really want to make my better now. Because I'm like, I'm trying to hurry, but I'm doing it for y'all, okay? To show you, you can do it too. It takes like a minute out of your day. It's not that hard pretty easy so don't be lazy and just do it okay the dogs are actually being really good they're not crying or whining the first day was rough
I got these new Squishmallows, aren't they so cute? Little dinosaur. So cute. And I love this one, he's a monster. Oh, that was quick. That is made. Good. It doesn't look that great, but I don't really care. Oh my god. I can see my breath. It is so cold. Duh. It is freaking freezing out here, you guys. Jesus. It literally looks like I'm smoking. I don't think y'all can see it on camera, but I can definitely see it in person. Oh my God, the snow is freaking bad. Where's a truck? A truck sliding that almost crashed right in front of me. Like he went from this to this to this, like, he like spun out. I was scared. I slowed down a lot. I was going super slow anyways, like 20 and a 40. And I super laid back so he didn't hit me. And then he hit the curb. I was like, oh God. Like I drive a truck too, you guys. And this snow and the sliding is no joke. The ice is no joke. I'm telling you, like, and I just left the house and that already happened. I'm like so scared. Thank God I don't have anywhere crazy to go. Oh God, now I don't even want to go to Kohl's. So hopefully, cause the, the sun is out, you guys. Like it is out. Y'all can see it is freezing, but the sun is out. My hands are frozen, and of course it's the day. I don't know where my freaking nice gloves are that I just bought, super warm and fuzzy. And I got these wimpy, thin, cheap little dollar gloves. I don't even know where I got those things. Like I had some at the house. I was like, no, I don't need to bring those cause I got some in the car. Like, where are they? What the heck? They've gotta be in here. Oh my god, no, uh, all my stuff is falling out. So I'm at Starbucks and I really wanna get something hot. I always get a cold drink, but today is just so freezing. My hands are frozen, I need something hot. Um, I think I'll probably get a hot chocolate because I don't know, that doesn't even sound good, but like I don't really like hot coffee and drinks. Ugh, let's see. I'm like a hot chai, pumpkin chai. I don't know, that doesn't sound good either. Let's see. Hi, um, what do you think's like the best hot coffee? I'm like, I don't really normally drink hot. Uh, do you like sweet or hot? Yeah, I like sweet. And I would use like the mocha or the white coffee that has the coffee and like chocolate and Okay, I'll do a uh, tall white chocolate mocha then, please. Um, and then, can I add like whipped cream to that? Yeah. Okay. And can I add like some of the sprinkles as well? Yeah. And that should be it. Thank you. When in doubt, ask the barista what they recommend because they know what is good here and they always know what people order or they drink it themselves. So yeah, okay, I need to put you guys on my phone stand. All week, anytime I leave a drink in the car, it freezes. So this was water and it's like completely frozen. Um, but today's even worse, of course, because of how freaking cold it is. So I got my scarf, I got my nice thick jacket and these thin little they're not even sweat. I don't know what they are. Still looking for my dang gloves. Like, where did, I wouldn't have taken them out. I don't think they're in my purse. I don't freaking know. But yeah, you guys stay safe out here. I'm telling you, the roads are icy. People are driving this normal speed limit and about to crash. Don't do that. Like, if it's 40, go 20. If you're on a highway, Go 40, like for real. It's scary. It is so scary. People don't care. I can't find anything. Oh my God, okay. I did want to make a return as well to Pet PetSmart, but like I really don't want to drive on these roads and I don't think it's gonna get any better. And of course, like I had these plans today and now I'm not gonna do them because I'm not risking buying a new sweater and returning something to freaking crash and 
total my car or pay thousands of dollars and there's already damage on this car so unless the sun melts all this ice oh i found him i found him oh, i can't reach him i'm in park okay yeah yeah i found my nice warm fuzzy soft oh, they're on the floor these are so warm and cute i love these so much It is a mess down here. I need to clean. Um, I'm going to you need my phone, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave one glove off because I need to hand them my phone to scan my Starbucks. Like as y'all can see, I'm getting blinded by the sun. Like I really hope this melts quick, especially because I have to do drop-ins in the next few days. Yeah, Christmas Eve is when I need to start. So I don't want to cancel. I would feel bad. Plus, I need the money. So. Let's just hope I'm freaking safe and drive good. Like, ooh, and I'm glad these match this. Look how cute. But yeah, I'm freaking terrified. At least this little cat drop-in is super close. Like, they literally live like two minutes from the Starbucks because I went yesterday and did the same thing. This is my last drop-in for them today. And I'm just nervous. I'm really nervous, you guys. This is not fun. And I hope this drink is good because I am not a hot coffee drinker at all. I've never liked hot coffee, but it is so cold. Like, I need something different anyways. Like, I want to try something different, but my hands are frozen right now. And I just need something that'll keep me warm for a while. Ooh, I should have got a water. I'm going to ask them, and they're going to hate me, but it's fine. At the window, I'll ask them for a nice water as well. So I can hydrate throughout the day. Dang, my hands are dry. Like, oh my god. Put some lotion on these dry hands. <gasps> my lotion's frozen. <laughs> it's so frozen. You guys, everything in my freaking, my smelly things, I'm surprised these aren't frozen. I bet you everything else liquid is, so. I bet you my gum is like rock hard. Dang it, well, I guess I'll be dry. Oh no, I got lotion in my purse, and my purse has been in my house. I have this Nivea lotion fine it works just as good if not a little better because this is really good for like super dry Ooh, I'm gonna need more than that way more okay Whew. but yeah I only got a tall because I don't know if I'm gonna like the drink I mean it sounds decent but plus I don't really want that much coffee. Okay, I'm, I'm about to be up. I'm about to scan my app on my phone. And don't let me forget, I need ice water, guys. Okay, it's currently 11.37. Okay, so, like I said, they're only two minutes from here. So I have like 10, 15 minutes, but honestly, no, I really don't. I honestly only have like three minutes because I need to be going early so the guy can drop their dog off by 12.30, but honestly, I don't think he'll be here by then because of the snow, unless he left really early this morning. But she was kind of mad. She's like, okay, next time tell us while you're in the drive-thru to get your ice water so we can have it by the time. And I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. She only gave me a small, which whatever, but I just asked for ice water. I didn't say what size. <coughs> but anyways, here's my cute drink. I'm just happy that I got the cute Starbucks cup for once because I never get these. So I always get my cold drinks. And it's super cute and festive. Look, I got my little whipped cream, my sprinkles. I was gonna get a hot chocolate, but like, I don't know. I really wanted some coffee to help me stay awake and energized throughout the day. I'm super scared. I also don't like hot coffee because I always burn my tongue. Like it's super, super freaking hot. So, um, okay, should I do it? I'm scared. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not too hot either. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That almost does taste like a hot chocolate, really. I mean, it is white chocolate mocha. Yeah, it is white mocha. So, it's pretty much like hot chocolate. This is pretty good. It is a little hot, so I'm going to let it sit and go do my little drop-in. I'm so scared. Guys, wish me luck. Pray for me that I drive good, other people drive good. It's super close. After that, I'm just gonna go home. 
and hope that the snow and ice melts later. Oh my God, I really wanted to run errands today, but I guess I won't be able to. I guess I didn't even think about the snow, like when I was like, oh, I'm gonna go here and here. Like, no girl, you ain't. Lord said, no, you ain't girl. And I didn't even think about ordering food because I literally had breakfast here yesterday. So that doesn't even sound good, whatever, but maybe I'll just eat at home because like I said, I do not want to be driving today at all. I almost want to keep recording because I'm scared that like if anything happens, at least I'll have it on video if someone hits me or something. But I don't really know where I'm going. Actually, I do kind of actually remember where I'm going because it's super easy from here. So maybe I'll keep recording and maybe I will see some crazy action go on. I feel like I did slightly burn my tongue. Just a little teeny tiny bit, not too bad. But at least it wasn't super, super hot. Okay, I'm gonna let this car go because I'm like not gonna whip out in front of any cars today at all. I'm gonna drive super freaking safe, like as safe as possible. But I also hate when people like are super close to me during this horrible time. Oh my God, like go way behind, like way freaking behind. Like, oh, this person pulled out right behind me, stupid. Stupid, like give me some room. Like I get road rage when I have anxiety even more. Like there is snow coming out of my truck hitting your car like stupid, stupid. Lean back, lean back, get back. If you gotta go to work, they don't care if you're late. Okay, okay, and now you're gonna go in the left lane and speed ahead, whatever dude, you're stupid. You're gonna go too fast and you're gonna freaking crash. God, at least I do know where I'm going because I went here yesterday from Starbucks. And it's super easy. It was like literally down the street, you guys. Literally, right here. I'm already here. I know where I'm at. I don't even have to use GPS. That's amazing. So amazing. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off because I don't wanna show y'all where I'm at. And I'm about to be up in there. Y'all about to see the cute cat. Mind you guys, I used to not like cats growing up. Like, I was scared of them because they would hiss and I'd be scared that I was gonna get bit or attacked. But as long as they're nice and they're actually really cute. And then I thought, you know what? Cats are like mini lions and I'm a Leo. So I actually grown to really like cats. Like I really honestly do like them now. And also I think when I was a kid, I didn't like them because my dad didn't like them and my stepdad didn't like them. So I was just like, okay, I don't like them either. And plus I've always really loved dogs and always had dogs. So I was just a huge dog person. But that just cause you're a dog person doesn't mean you can't be a cat person either. I would never own a cat, but I think they're cute and cuddly. Okay. Let's go. I do have to remember to leave their key today as well in their house and lock up before I leave, which is gonna be hard because I have these nails. It's gonna be hard to take the key off the key ring. Hey, Kai. Hey. Hey. You want some food? You hungry? <gasps> what the heck happened? It fell over. Was you trying to gain your food? Two scoops of food. There you go, you hungry, buddy? He's got some water. Like some ice in his water, huh? Let's get you some ice. Ooh. My hands are really cold now. Hey, Kai, are you gonna jump on the table like you like to do? Especially when I have a drink, because you try to drink it, huh? Come here, Kai. You just wanna rub on me. Okay, let's get this key. Let's get this key off before I forget. Silly boy. 
Do not drink my drink. No, that's mine. I knew you were going for the drink. Probably why you came up here, huh? No, <laughs> it's mine. You're not a dog. You don't listen, do ya? Sometimes my dog doesn't listen either. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, your butt is in my face, dude. Come on. You can I? Your butt is in my face, bruh. Oh, oh yeah, you like my, he likes my fuzzy ball on my keychain. He thinks it's a toy. Okay. That was it pretty easy. I'm gonna leave this, I guess, on the kitchen table. Easy to see. That is not the toy. It is not the toy. I know your toys look like that, but. Don't, don't uh, lose the key, dude. Don't mess with the key. You gonna step on me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna sit on the chair with me? Uh oh. Uh oh. He stole my spot. Okay, there he goes. Send a picture of this so they know where it is. What is that tail doing? <laughs> that tail going crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Tail doing a dance. You are so weird. <laughs> so silly. No, no, no. He's like, I don't care. Mm, he's head tilting like a dog. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, he kind of followed me. Burr. Oh, it's so freaking cold. So I did end this visit pretty early. So it's supposed to be a 30 minute drop in. The past two days I did stay for 30 minutes, but they did write on the little note with the food that I'm not like obligated or they don't expect me to stay the full 30 minutes. But I did the past two days because I had time and like he was cute he's fun to hang out with plus i like to live up to my expectation even though they didn't expect it like that's what they paid for the 30 minutes so but since today it is snowing they probably they don't even care already but they probably understand more with me being busy and trying to drive in the snow and get things done like i only stayed for like 10 15 20 minutes something like that which is still pretty good but they just really needed his food and water to be given to him so that way that's what he really needs obviously cats have a litter box so they don't need taken outside or nothing plus the past two days i did try to play with him and he did not want to play like he didn't care so i'm gonna head home and the dog with like the cone on the little uh neck pillow looking thing i'm gonna let him go outside potty because the other ones, they all went like in the backyard for a little bit, but he needs to go in the backyard to actually go potty. He does not like to go potty. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it took me forever this morning on a leash in the front to make him pee, and then he doesn't like go, you know, number two. Like he, I took him on an hour walk the other day. He literally peed like twice and pooped twice, but 
my dog he'll pee on everything like every two seconds so i don't know what that is it's kind of weird i'm not used to that i'm used to boys just going like non-stop but like he does not like to go to the bathroom so i'm gonna let him go in the backyard for a little bit before the other dog gets here so i can bring him in and then the other dog can go in the backyard and go potty before i bring that dog in because he can't be around other dogs right now being neutered because he gets too excited too crazy and during our daycare i guess like they never told me he couldn't play with my dog and i even sent them pictures and videos and they never said nothing of them playing and being crazy running around but i guess like his wound like opened up a little bit which is kind of normal because of course when they're active like and they just had stitches it's gonna you know that's gonna happen like my dog had surgery his little wound reopened after his stitches got taken out they were in there for two weeks that reopened but he had a super long super long cut from his cancer that one got the stitches out and never reopened and then he had to have staples in the little one for two more weeks so it's pretty common especially like with their areas that are moving a lot that was his leg but this time obviously it's a little different but he gets too crazy hyper around other dogs like he will not stop he'll play non-stop so at least for another week he can't be around other dogs like they need to be separated he can't be playing with them so i have to do this and it's harder for me especially with the cold to be in and out all the time but it's all right it's all right it's get i'm getting good money for this like i'm getting good money with this job you guys i'm making for what i do is really good money like hundred dollars per night but then the app that i do takes 20 percent, which is a lot so i'm getting 80 dollars per night per dog and i'm gonna have six dogs in one night so you do the math it's pretty good okay i was gonna be maybe getting a lot more but all these people canceled and stuff so hopefully this lady my other regular will book me and venmo me because then there's no taxes taken out and stuff like that or fees Okay, so I wanna show you guys what I got for my dog for Christmas. So, he's already got these gifts, um, but I was FaceTiming my family when I showed them what he got. So he's already seen them and everything, but I did put most of it back in the bag. So, he did get a bunch of treats, you guys, and he already has so much. He got these, which he loves. Um, I don't remember what these are called. And then some beef jerky, which has been open. He's already had lots of those. Look at my cute little mini Christmas tree. I love it. It's so cute. All right. So I got the vacuum, the robot going on in the background. So don't mind that. So here's some of his stuff. If it's in a really cute Chihuahua Christmas bag. He's so spoiled. Look at what's going on with the bag. It is ripping open because he has so much in there. But I wanted to put it back to show you guys everything he got. So after this, I'm just going to throw the bag away and we're like fully open all his toys. So he got this like heavy duty ball inside of a rubber ball. He honestly does not fetch. Like he doesn't even care for tennis balls or anything. So it's probably honestly going to be for the other dogs more than him. But oh well. I got these little pet wipes, oatmeal and coconut. These are good to just clean his body if he gets dirty or, you know, if he's just stinky and needs it on his booty, which I don't really wipe his butt unless it really needs to be wiped in his bad and before I can give him a bath. I got these little toy rings. My mom got him some of these a while back and he loved them, but these are like Christmas colors. They're so cute. He loves tug of war and that was like one of his favorite toys. I got him this really cute faux fur dog toy set. I love it. They're so cute. He loves stuffed animals, you guys. And they squeak. His favorite toys are stuffed animals and like ropes or tug of war or he'll just honestly play with anything and play keep away. He heard the squeak and it has two little bones. Well, it has a little bone and a big bone. Look who it is. You heard your toy, Charlie. Charlie, uh oh, my phone's about to fall. Charlie, look over here. So I'm about to take all his toys out for him. Once I'm done showing you, I could just pull this out of the side of the bag because it's ripped. So, okay. I know these are like Halloween vibes, you guys, some of these. But that's because they had a really amazing sale at PetSmart a while back. Like, only $7 for this? What? It's a Bark Box toy. And 
he loves ropes like i said and he loves stuffed animals so this was so perfect like so adorable and i'm a very spooky kind of gal so it also has like this crinkle he loves the crinkles and he loves squeakers like all dogs so yeah i love it it's so cute monster mutts so he doesn't even notice like he doesn't know what holiday it is like he doesn't care i don't either honestly like it was such a good deal i couldn't pass it up and also this one you guys like come on bark box super chewer only eight bucks it is so tough you guys this ball is so freaking indestructible like for real it's got a rubber core strong jaw squeaker oh wow i didn't even know there was a squeaker plush outer layer and crazy cape fun to toss tug and thrash so my dog had a ball like this before it was an eyeball like literally an, uh, an eye and the dogs that i watch have destroyed it so here's a new one that is so cute dracula little vampire and then last he got an actual christmas theme a cute little reindeer an invincible squeaker keeps squeaking even if it's punctured that really sold me on this <laughs> because when his toys get when his toys get destroyed and there's a hole in it it's still gonna squeak so that's so perfect okay he's like what the heck okay this one i think i can just rip off I actually have some scissors so as you guys know my dog's a pit bull but he's super gentle on all of his stuffed animals so like i can buy him literally a dollar a dollar store stuffed animal and he will not destroy it at all he just is super gentle and like nibbles on it so even though he does have indestructible toys, he'll be gentle with this. <gasps> Look at your new toy, Charlie's. You like the reindeer? There you go, good boy. Good boy. You wanna take it downstairs? I knew it. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to my bed. Okay, also you guys, I bought him and him and the other dogs, this little like um, dog lifted dog bed. This is supposed to be for outside. He loves it, look, he went straight to it. It is humongous, I can literally fit up there with him. It's supposed to be for dogs up to 100 pounds, but together we're 200 pounds, well, almost. This was like 50 bucks, you guys, but I'm gonna put it outside. Once it's a little nicer outside, I'm gonna put this out, but right now it's snowing and cold, so dogs aren't really gonna be outside to use it. And obviously, once it's sunny and nice, they'll wanna hang out outside and lay on this bed and be comfy. And two dogs could fit on there. Or if they're small dogs, probably ten dogs. Okay? And then, so yeah, just now I'm going to keep it in here for him. He has his real bed and then this one. He loves this one. Like, it's honestly really comfortable. And it's like, it doesn't pr put any pressure on the body. Because you're like levitating, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's really cool. And he already has one, but it's been destroyed by the wind and dogs. And it's missing a leg. So it's like really ghetto just on a cement block. Then I got this super comfy, cute snowman pillow. It's huge. And he has a million pillows, but it's like a Christmas theme. So I thought he would love that. His room needs picked up like, oh yeah. And then he also got this cute little hippo. He loves this one too. He loves the crinkles and the squeakies, huh? Yes, there's all your toys. Lots of toys. He loves like these little stuffed animals. Look, he'll just chew on them. Okay, so I just did a FaceTime with my family and we did our like secret Santa. So I look a little crazy because I've been taking care of dogs. So I've been wearing just this little t-shirt and the same sweats. It did get hot up in here because I had the heat on. But I got a Peach and Lily Skin Glass Skin Serum. So this is what it looks like. It's the Jumbo. The... Glass Skin Refining Translucent and Luminous Serum. The 2.36 floral ounce. Super huge and it's got like the little pump. So I'm super excited to use this. This stuff is really good and it's going to help with a lot of like dark spots. <sighs> I am bruised, I am battered, I am scratched up. I am sweating so much trying to handle these dogs. They are crazy, they are ridiculous, and they don't listen. And they're destructive, even though they're understandably not. Oh my God. So freaking stressful, like, 
It has to be the most stressful dogs and the most stressful situations when I can't even let them play outside longer than five minutes because it's freaking freezing. And they try to play instead of potty and it's like, bruh. Dogs breaking things, run around, not listening. It's just ridiculous. Crying, barking. I'm done for the day. Like, I don't feel good. I feel sick to my stomach. I do not feel great at all. And you know, when you don't feel good and then stressful things happen, you just get like very over emotional overreactive like crazy like bro my knees hurt they are so bruised like i am really hurting right now like my whole body just feels like crap it's already 8 30 i don't even feel like eating dinner like my stomach just hurts so bad i do not feel good lately i've been showering at night because i need to get to bed early and wake up early and i just am more productive when i can wake up and go because otherwise trying to shower and especially when I wash my hair like a whole nother hour or two and like I gotta wake up at like 7 a.m in a few days take care of these dogs let them out let them back in then go do drop-ins by like eight or nine in the morning by the way when I told the person it might be I might be delayed a little bit because of the snow they never replied but I'm sure they understand like I'm not gonna be super late but yeah it's gonna be obviously taking care of these dogs and trying to drive there slowly and stably is gonna be hard so yeah i'm super stressed i already knew this was gonna be a very stressful week like today is already freaking horrible tomorrow's gonna be even hopefully tomorrow's not as bad because it's gonna be a little bit warmer but it's still gonna be like really cold like freaking freezing so then in a few days it should be at least high of 40 degrees high of 50 degrees possibly 60 but like right now the high is like zero degrees it's really the coldest winter we've ever had it's the scariest thing ever like i just want to quit so bad but i need this money really bad like i hope january i just have a steady month that i make good money but i'm not having ten dollars at once like you know a few dogs a day the whole month booked up I need a vacation after this. I need a hot tub. I need to relax, be stress free. And I really hope it's just warm. Like when it's warm, this is so much easier. Like so much easier. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. Like, thank God I'm not in an apartment right now. Like there's no way I would have been able to walk any dog or all of these dogs with these temperatures. I would be frozen, I would be hurting, probably getting dragged down the street, especially dogs that don't listen and run and take off. Like, mm, thank God I'm not in an apartment, but this is still very stressful, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hate when I get into these kind of moods because I can tell my mood is off and I don't think y'all wanna watch me when I'm not in a good mood. But anyways, I like this video because I'm like, I really need all the love that I can give right now. Comment down below, subscribe if you want to see my hectic, crazy life again in these next crazy negative temperature degree days. And turn on the bell so you guys get notified every time I post. I'm going to take a shower and try to relax, possibly try to eat 